I envisioned this last night. <laughs> Being able to use this counter as like one of these. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, I have to go down to the wine cellar. <laughs> Gina! Oh, hold, yeah, hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> Healthy pour for a healthy girl. <laughs> First of all, welcome to BJ in the kitchen. <laughs> we are going to be making something that I started making just because it fit my macros and chop up a bunch of vegetables and saute them on the stove. And then I use trifecta chicken um, or steak, depending on what we have in the fridge, really. And we add that to the mixture of vegetables. We put that over rice, mm -hmm. and we top it's like it. Like a goulash. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a goulash. like a butternut squash goulash. And we top it with soup. <laughs> butternut squash soup. You can choose to do any vegetables that you really want. I do tend to eat the same vegetables all the time. I love peppers. I love onions. I love zucchini. I like to have the pan pretty high because I like these to get kind of burnt. Just like this. Which I can never. Oh. Turn the fan on, hurry. It's the first cooking show and we're burning it all down. Oh my gosh, my yeah. God. Man it, man it. We're gonna use omnivore salt, sea salt, organic black pepper, organic red pepper, and organic fennel. And lately I've been using this, it's called Bayou ish, and it's like a blackening seasoning. So I'm actually gonna add the zucchini and the mushrooms into the peppers and onion and use this pan to heat up some rice, which is from Trifecta. So Trifecta is my food sponsor, Trifecta Nutrition, and they send me a la carte. Did you ever, like, as a kid, like, drink a bunch of water and then jump up and down? <laughs> I just drank a bunch of Kjolkvist. <laughs> I'm seasoning the soup. Things I like to use, salt, pepper, garlic, and smoked paprika I put on almost everything. So this is already already cooked chicken, so we are just reheating it. I typically cook in a way where I can measure out exactly what I need, and then I can just throw a bunch of stuff together for Marston. We tend to keep things very separate because everyone is either eating a different amount of rice or a different amount of meat. So I'm gonna do Gina's dinner, she's starving and we'll measure it. So this is what Gina is having. This does not mean that it needs to be what you are having. We're eating it at the same time? Well, I wanna watch you eat it. Okay. That's my favorite part. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a harvest festival in my mouth. Honestly. <laughs> I want to harvest some of that. No. Let me harvest some. It's really delicious. If you guys decide you want to try and make this, please take a photo, tag me on social media, on Instagram, let me know how it turned out, and I would, I'm would i going to share a collage of photos of all of the best looking recipes. So you gotta get good, good points for the way it looks, <laughs> and uh, obviously, I mean, I hope it tastes good, but I, always, I, can't, good. I can't taste it for you, so. I did. But I mean like. No, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> But I used to be able to eat a kiwi in like six seconds or something, skin and all. The kids would gather around the elementary school yard and they'd be like, You eat that kiwi? And I'd be like, And they'd be like, Did you see him eat that kiwi? Yeah, this is really good. Honestly, really good. 